Tonight, a close eye on coronavirus in the Magnolia State. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Byron Brown. And I'm Melanie Christopher. The State Department of Health reporting 905 new cases in Mississippi, along with 36 additional deaths. That brings the state's total number of cases to 135,803 with over 3,500 deaths. And now the state health officer warns of an explosive outbreak following potential holiday gatherings. It comes as health systems are already stressed with rising hospitalizations and cases. Gerald Harris joins us with more on this dire alert. Gerald? Yeah, Melanie, schools and communities throughout Mississippi are facing COVID-19 hardships. And while news about vaccines gives hope for the future, the real problem is unfolding right now. Hospitals in Mississippi are beginning to become stressed. The best thing that we all can do is to make sure that we limit transmission of coronavirus so that we do not overwhelm the healthcare system. We are kind of getting up right at that level, unfortunately. And limiting transmission of COVID-19 may come down to changing your holiday plans, putting off visits to family and friends, and large gatherings. Do the things that we know that prevent coronavirus. That's going to be space. It's going to be masks. It's going to be small groups. Underscoring that is the surge in school cases. 14,000 students are in quarantine this week compared to 9,000 last week. When I asked Dr. Dobbs what um, is Governor Tate uh, Reeves yeah, not doing that he should do to help with the pandemic, he sidestepped the question. This is a moment that requires leadership from everyone. Um, it requires leadership from our office, from the governor's office, from the mayor's office. Um, from our legislators, everybody who has a leadership position in schools needs to step up and do everything that they can do to protect the people who are in their charge. The Department of Health is waiting for early distribution of vaccines that show over 90 percent effectiveness. Also announced today, the State Department of Health issued updates to isolation efforts. If you are sick with the coronavirus or in the same household as someone who is, you must stay at home for 10 days following symptoms. Byron.